Surgery Samurai presents minimally invasive banding or ligation of a vessel. We begin the video with arguably the most important portion of the procedure, and this is bending the needle to an appropriate angle to adequately navigate the subcutaneous tissues under and across the vein that is the target collateral vessel or vessel that is being ligated. In our case, we used a 018 wire through the 21 gauge needle to prevent the needle from crimping while we were trying to bend the needle to the appropriate angle. Next, after anesthetizing the skin and the subcutaneous tissues with 1% lidocaine, the actual needle is advanced under ultrasound guidance below the target vein from one aspect of the vein to the opposite aspect as seen here on ultrasound imaging. Of note, it is imperative to navigate this under ultrasound imaging so as to avoid vessel injury as you are advancing the needle. Once the needle has traversed underneath the vessel and is exited the skin appropriately on the opposite side of entry, then the 018 wire is advanced through the needle as seen above. After the wire is advanced through the needle, the needle is then removed after making two small incisions at the skin entrance and exit site of the needle with an 11 blade. This is extraordinarily important as noted later on in the procedure when navigating a Kelly clamp superficial to the vessel that is being ligated or banded. After the small incisions have been made, the 3-5 coaxial dilator in this particular case is then advanced over the wire, effectively traversing underneath the target vessel. Then in this particular instance, two 0-0 silk sutures are advanced through the outer 5 French coaxial dilator system. There was some difficulty with advancing the 0-0 silk suture through the coaxial system likely because of some saline that had been used to flush the system previously, and as such the 018 wire was then used as a stiffener to then advance the O-0 silk through the coaxial system. Two sutures are being used in this particular instance in order to effectively create a braided suture to add additional strength and integrity to the suture as it is being tied around the target vessel. After the suture has been successfully advanced through the coaxial system, the outer coaxial dilator is then removed. A Kelly clamp is then advanced through the skin nicks, superficial to the target vessel, and used to capture one end of the two sutures. Both sutures are then captured and grasped with the Kelly clamp and retracted, effectively creating a complete loop around the target vessel. The suture can then be tied based on interventionalist preference. It is at this time that it is dependent on the interventionalist whether or not a spacer device of some sort, whether it be a balloon or a wire, be placed within the target vessel to create some sort of patency within the vessel as desired. The skin incisions are usually very small and can be closed adequately with either skin glue or a fluorovicol suture. And that brings us to the conclusion of our video. Like and subscribe for more content and stay tuned.